So as you guys might know, I like to fast every day. So I'm always, technically always fasting. So I'll eat uh, five days a week, I eat OMADs and I try to fast for at least 36 to 48 hours once a week. Every month or two, I'll do an extended fast of three days or more. Uh, recently coming off a four day fast last weekend. Uh, one thing that I've always, uh, one thing that this last four day fast has actually uh, sort of, uh, I guess, cemented more in my mind is the benefits of actually breaking a fast in the morning rather than, you know, at night or in the afternoon. Before I was breaking fast a lot at night, um, in the last four day one, I kind of had to, just the way things turned out, I broke it on Sunday night because that was the, uh, the four day mark. But before then I was mainly just breaking them in the beginning and breaking them in the morning. The way at the start, I was uh, beginning fast at night still. What I find with the morning, when you begin the fast um, or when you end the fast, it's good because you've just been able to sleep. A lot of the time, the hours leading up to the end of a fast, especially an extended fast, can be the most difficult. Um, you're just you know thinking about food, thinking about what you're going to eat, and it's almost, uh, for me anyway, it's very difficult, can almost be in a, a bit of an obsession up until the, those last few hours until you break it. So I find if I sleep before it, if I can sleep, then I just wake up and within a couple of hours can break the fast, get some food and it's done. Also, the other benefit that I've found that I've really learned from this last four day fast is that when, when you break it in the morning, it gives you a full day. So the last fast I broke Sunday night, I was able to eat a full meal and then the next day I just commenced OMADs again. But the OMADs this week, there's been, I think, three since then have been very difficult. You can tell that my body is just craving nutrients because it just came off that four day fast and I've just been waiting and waiting all day. And then I finally get to the meal and, and eat as much as I can. And sometimes it's just not enough. It's not usually like this with OMADs, but lately it has been a lot more difficult than normal. And I believe it's because of, uh, you know, not not feeding my body enough when I broke it. And that was a lot because I broke it at night, had to go to sleep to work the next day. So if I had to do it over again, break it in the morning, and then I'm able to feast for a full day, really replenish myself, you know, eat every couple of hours, eat as much as I need to, fully replenish myself, and then go back to OMADs the next day after that. Um, it, it just makes so much more sense to me on, on both, uh, you know, giving yourself the time and the nutrients to refeed uh, and also the fact that I, I said before where it's, it's, it's a lot easier to break a fast in the morning. Only problem is I think a lot of people do find that, that starting a fast in the morning can be difficult because they're not used to going to bed hungry. But if you do it in an extended fast, you're not going to bed with anything in your stomach anyway, so you may as well just start it in the morning.